The brothers in Christ may be here from the gospel reading, the banquet. The king invited everyone to his friends, his uh, uh, relatives, to uh, the wedding party. He said, I called, I prepared my wedding party for my sons. For my son, please come and enjoy that uh, wedding uh, uh, dinner. And we hear from the gospel uh, reading that he sent many people, uh, servants, to invite them. And one of them disappeared, said, oh, I'm so busy, I have no time. The second one said, well, I have business, I have no time to come uh, to, the, uh, to the party. The third one, I have, I have my, I have my uh, wife, I just get married, I have no time. And everyone disappeared. And we hear even some of all of them, they take the servants, beat them, and kill them. And we hear from the gospel area, what can he do? He invited the army and he commanded, destroy this evil servant, kill them, and burn up the city. And he said to, an, uh, to another servant, go in the street and invite everyone to for their wedding uh, dinner, rich and poor, good and bad. Invite all of them and try to be happy because this is my wedding, uh, uh, son's wedding, and I prepared the dinner for him. And we hear that he came to the uh, party and he saw everyone was so happy and enjoyed that party. But one of the men was in a dirty clothes and sitting between all the people. And he asked him, why are you here? Why are you here in a, in a, not in a wedding uh, clothes? And we hear he, he had no answer. And the king commanded, take him, tie him his hand and feet, and put him in a darker place. And there is will be a Ganeshan teeth and big pain and crying. And this um, this great uh, parable that runs in Christ, uh, the king is our God the Father. The wedding is divine liturgy. The, the dinner is divine liturgy. The Son is Jesus Christ. And the king invites us, put uh, us, the servants go and invite uh, the old people, our friends and family, to the, uh, to the uh, wedding dinner. And we hear some said, oh, I have no time. The, the second one said, I have, I have business and everything. I have wife and I have so busy time. And this time he invited, please go and invite everyone, rich and poor good and bad, and he saw everyone was enjoying us at that uh, wedding dinner, but one was in a dirty clothes, and he asked, what are you, why are you here? The king gave him everything, shower, new clothes, but this man was so lazy to come to take a shower, to wash his hands and face, and to take the king's clothes. It's me, the brothers in Christ. We know many people in the world, but not many coming to the church. Even we are here coming to the church, but we still criticizing each other. We still uh, uh, judge each other. But God said, we need to forgive each other. We need to love each other. We need to be merciful to each other. And then you will see the salvation. If the person does not believe in God, you will show them miracles but they will be not believed. Like they jar Jesus Christ in the cross uh, in the Christ. They said, well, if you are the Son of God, come down from the cross, and we will see the miracles, and we will believe, and we will be full of you. And these people will never believe. They just use the words, show me miracle, and we will follow you. They will never follow you. We need just to believe. Without miracles, we need to follow ten commandments what God gave to us, and we need to love each other, we need to forgive each other, and we need to be merciful to each other. And this person, the brothers and in Christ, it's like a, uh, like one lady. She come to the Holy Communion without fear, without love, and she explained to her friend, "Oh, I know what priest gave to me. It's a piece of bread what I make." and a little bit wine in the spoon. And then she comes to take over the communion and priest from the child's take 
the peace of body and the blood. And she gets scared and she says, Father, could you please give me another piece? And again, the priest takes from in his form the piece of meat and the blood. And she gets so scared and she confessed. And then she said, Father, I need to go to confession. I need to repent my sin. And then she told everyone, my brother and sister, she said, I lose it my face, I lose it my hope, and God showed me salvation through Holy Communion. I make a sin to say it's a bread and wine and nothing more, but God showed me in the spoon the piece of meat and the blood in the spoon. And after confession, she cried. She is doing the prostration in front of Icon Jesus Christ. And then she go again to communion. And the priest gave wine and bread. Never lose hope in the brothers in Christ. Never lose faith. God knows your life. He knows everything. How you live. How you feel. And what you have in your heart. Please come to the church. Please come to take holy communion. Open your heart. And invite to your life, Jesus Christ, as he has to give you peace, love, hope, and salvation. And may God bless us all with wisdom, how to live in this world, how to love each other, how to be merciful to each other, and how to forgive each other. May God bless you and keep you. Thank you so much.